Poor Medley. She's gonna have to spend the rest of her life in that dank, in that dark, danky place. Never to see Prince Kamali or anything. You can go back in her room and you'll see her still praying. She won't really respond to anything you do. So we have the edge of the map store store and it also gains a bit of extra power. The last thing we need to do in the game is come over here, find out how to enter the dungeon because like with Headstone, we can't enter it immediately. I'm not going to head over there just yet. We're going to want to have to we're going to have to head over here in order to get some in order to get an item required to enter here anyway. And I'll also pick up some stuff on the way, because why not? But since we got some charts, I might as well open them. I feel we like might encounter one of the charts on the way, at the least. I have no clue where that is. Okay then, so with that, I will meet you all over here. So, on the way here, I actually noticed a ring of light appear. Or a pillar, if you will. That means there's a treasure here, which I think is... Oh, we already know about this. I think it's a piece of heart, actually. Oh, God, why? Let's see. I really don't like those shark enemies, they're just a pain. Like, infinitely respawn, and. What's the point? They die, like, in one hit. Not to mention it's a constant reuse of those Jaws feet. Okay, get this. If this isn't a piece of heart, then oh well. Okay, this is a piece of heart, nice. I think there's another on this island as well. The shark thing disappears so easily too, so... Why? Oh no. Actually, wait, I think if I can do this right. Nice. So that's. Ooh! Uchi! Forgot about it. Thought I'd be on that little aisle over there. That's two pieces of heart already. Not bad. Now, this little aisle right here is optional. Isn't this one right here? It's not really that useful, honestly. It's kind of annoying to do. Oh god! That's what I was talking about, about getting crushed. 
I don't. I can't believe I did that. I always do that in here for some stupid reason. This is gonna be honestly kind of a pain to do. So what I'm gonna want to do is... And somehow it stays in place. I don't know how. Oh, that's it. I remember this being a lot harder than it used to be. Than it is. I am totally... Smart. Wait. Oh, that's how. I was like, wait, isn't it on top? Okay, 200. I'll take that. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to sail over here and then we're going to head over there. It probably went smarter to start at the Forest Haven, then sail down here, then the Angler Isles, and then up here. But I don't- I just didn't feel like doing that. We are gonna have to come to these three squares as a requirement later in the game, I think. Otherwise, I'll just show it when we have nothing else to do, like when we're complete with the whole game, and nothing else but the last dungeon slash final boss. So, cutting ahead once more. There's also yet another pillar of light here, which means, yet again, more treasure. There's a reason why he's mentioning that, because there's a minigame we can play here that involves using... There are platform? There's platforms over there? I didn't know that. Huh. I'm guessing there's probably a submarine as well. When I was coming here, I was like, why are there sea hats in the middle of nowhere? Okay. Oh, we have a new enemy over there. Over there, that is a sea octorok. They're freaking massive. God damn. How'd that not hit you? How are they missing? That is crap. Boku Baba Seed. Most useful spoils item in the game. Except not really. Thanks, game. Yeah, coming over here was pointless. To my surprise. Wait, what the? It's over there. Oh wait, that's just another island up there. What am I thinking? A sea arts chart. 
So we use a treasure chart to find another chart. Brilliant thinking, Nintendo. Okay. So that chart is pretty much self-explanatory. It will just show whatever islands have hearts on them. Or rather, treasure chart with charts with hearts. That's decent. Not really the best, but oh well. Oh, there is a hole, okay. Father would be one. Never ending mini blends. The worst thing ever. I think I have to get the switch active. Or the switch sacks in order to get in order to get stop them from spawning. Goddamn mini blade. There was it hit one? Look at them just watching me open the thing. And another chart that shows other charts. What a coincidence. So this minigame here is relatively interesting. It's, I guess you could say worth your time, not really worth your time. I don't think this guy ever appears anywhere else in the Great Sea. Like, he's not a windfall or anything. This is, I guess, useful if you want a ruby farm, but I recommend the trick on outset. So it's very simple stuff. We've already done this a couple of times. For free, might I add. So yeah. Pretty much it'll go, it'll point to the nearest rupee. And that's really it. The last barrel I think will have 20 rupees. And I can't believe I actually got that. It, it looked like I should not have. There's no big reward or anything for getting all of them, or even not getting hit. But it's just worth the time if you want to get extra rupees, and if you don't want to use that farming trick, which you can't do unless you don't have the GBA link cable and a tingle tuner, so I guess this is an alternative if you can't do that. Oh, damn it! Ah, oh, the Greek, the King Reliance got some distance. And I really have nothing else to say here. This is a fairly interesting mini game. I have to admit, I don't know why they don't do this for anywhere else on the Great Sea. Well, or rather, in the game. It should have been a silver rupee, maybe even a purple one.
I don't think I can get a piece of heart or anything if you get all the rupees. I'll check right now, because I want to be sure. Okay, so even if you do get all the rupees, you get nothing. You know, besides the rupees. There's no, like, piece of heart, treasure heart, etc. And that guy apparently does actually appear on Windfall. In the cafe. Now, another thing is, every time you play, the amount of time you have will be reduced by 10 seconds. Not really worth it. I really do recommend the outset trick, but if you can't, you don't have the Tingle Tuner, then this is pretty worthwhile. Here. Cutting ahead. The island we're currently at is probably one of the more interesting islands in the Great Sea. That we can get. First... This is where we need- oh yeah, there's a treasure. This is where we need to come in order to complete the rest of the game. So, first I'm gonna get that treasure, and then we're gonna have to fire a fire into there, and then we can, you know, venture inside. This is like the only part of the Great Sea where it is, I guess, in winter or something. One part of the great seat I would never want to come to, because I honestly hate the cold. But anyway... Fire up a fire arrow in. Doesn't matter where you hit it, because it'll always, well, I guess heat up the place. Bah. Like before, you are timed. This can be a pain in the ass because you have to deal with ice physics. Probably one of the worst things known to man. Also, if you do this... Or not... Like, something funny happens whenever you do that. He falls down. That's like just one of the funny, funniest things I've seen in the game, the sound he makes. There's also a treasure just here, which I'll get after we're done. Boop. No. Oh, what? Why didn't he jump? That is... That's utter bull! Why didn't he jump? Crap, I'm actually kind of worried, because I might not be able to make it. Yeah, he jumps there, but he doesn't want to jump anywhere else. For the record, I'd also like to point I do not like this part of the game. This mini, this area, and it's, and the dungeon after this. I would say it's one of the worst last dungeons in any Zelda game. Of course he jumps there when I have only two, not even three minutes left. It's enough time, but still. And more ice physics and fairies.
Why are there fairies? I don't know. Oh god, don't fall. No! Oh god, I'm actually kind of worried that I'm not going to make it. Because this has just been blowing up in my face. This is probably the worst run you will ever see in this place. Ever. God, if I actually don't make it, I'll be very angry. Okay, let's try this again. Get away! No! No! Why? Why does this game hate me today? Shut up, game! You're screwing me over, it's not my fault. Maybe I can- I wonder if I can cheat the game. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. After what happened in free, in the Earth Temple, I am not gonna try and cheat the game. Okay. I also don't know why they can't just put a ladder. Why do they have to waste your time? Bah, I don't care. You screw me over, game. I'm gonna screw you over now. Should've in the first place. No. You are not gonna screw me over, game. Yeah, here come all the hater comments saying, Oh my god, why'd you have so much trouble? You suck. So we get the iron boots. This game started the trend of Iron Boots now being an actual item rather than being an equipment item. Ocarina of Time 3D also decided to keep that and it made the game a lot easier with the Water Temple. Or well, rather it made it less, less of a hassle because you had to constantly go into the item screen, equip the Iron Boots, take the Iron Boots off, and since the item screen is on the touch screen, it's easier to manage. As long with the fact that you can equip it to to one buttons. And the game just had to get the last laugh thing. I finally get the iron boots, and then I follow over. It looks kind of stylish, I have to admit. And Link also gets an angry look on his face. Right and this is optional right here. You get 100 rupees, so worth time. Why can't you jump? Oh, it's a treasure shark. Oh, it'd just be something regular. Okay, I have no clue where that could be. I think it might be... Nah, it's not this. It might be... Over here? Don't know. There might be some other stuff here. I'm just gonna check it out. So, with that... I think that's about it for this episode. Next time, we are going to... Head up here. Probably check out these three islands. Actually, just these two, and then we're going to head in there and see what happened to the Wind Sage. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.